if that guy let me by on his own accord or that's just where he needed to stop or whatever but I'm just glad to have, not have a big white truck in my view. CBR today, just goofing around, doing a little bit of riding, but uh, I have a new little piece of technology that I'm going to try to incorporate into the channel, and uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and give it a test so, uh, so I can kind of learn its capabilities, and uh, if you haven't guessed, uh, yeah, it's a drone, but uh, I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah, uh, another motor vlogger with a drone. And uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I see uh, more and more people utilizing drones as the technology becomes better and cheaper. So uh, I picked myself up a, a DJI Mavic Pro and I think I'm just gonna run up to the local park and uh, test out some of its features. I've always wanted a drone. Uh, I had borrowed a uh, DJI Phantom 2 off a friend of mine just so I could see if, if this is something that I wanted to invest in to, to add another layer uh, to my uh, video creation capabilities, I guess. And uh, I kind of like the idea of being able to uh, have the capability do some aerial photography or videography. So, uh, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and uh, and picked one up. So I've always wanted to incorporate uh, aerial videography into my channel or you know into my uh, video making capability, and I thought long and hard on how I was going to incorporate that you know, into you know my regular uh, YouTube videos you know and, and how I was going to add that capability uh, in the sense of you know where do I use it uh, how can I use it and uh, at what point does does using a drone for the to to add to the channel uh, switch over from enhancing a video to just having drone footage uh, for the sake of having drone footage. Uh, so at first I really didn't know how I was going to incorporate drone footage into my regular videos. Uh, as I am a, a one-man production and uh, you can't really fly a drone and ride a bike at the same time. But as technologies progressed and, uh, and gotten cheaper and more affordable, uh, drones now have autonomous features that will basically fly the drone on its own. And I'm kind of heading up to the local park to, uh, to kind of test out what all the capabilities are. It doesn't help that this guy can't stay on the road. Okay, so here we are at the local park. Um, there is a ball game going on, so I am going to have to be cautious. But I think we will go ahead and give it a try.
Okay, I gotta make some kind of lanyard for this. a bike and flying a drone. <laughs> That's perfect. I will consider that a mild success. Uh, I was in fact able to uh, test out all three active track modes, uh, trace mode, profile mode, and uh, spotlight mode. Uh, trace mode is just where the, uh, where the drone follows you along as you go. Uh, profile mode would be uh, it following you along um, off to the side, giving you a shot, you know, a, a side view or a profile of it. And then spotlight would be uh, where the drone is stationary and uh, just follows you as you move around the drone. Uh, that one's going to be pretty interesting. I, uh, a long time ago, I saw um, something similar for a tripod. I think it was called Solo Shot. And I thought that was really interesting. But since this drone has that feature, I will no longer be thinking about purchasing a solo shot. So, uh, sorry solo shot. My drone does all that. Uh, the, uh, the other feature in Active Track that I was able to test uh, was, uh, uh, was the circle mode where you, uh, as, as it's actively tracking you, it will orbit you uh, and uh, catch footage as you move. I was just standing still because I'm just in a testing phase. But uh, I'm actually, I'm pretty excited. Uh, this opens up a whole bunch of uh, doors as far as new stuff that I can do and uh, new camera angles to play with. And if you've been around, if you've been around my channel for a while, uh, you know that I'm always trying to expand my capabilities and my environments, and that that includes camera angles and videography capabilities. So I am most most happy with uh, with this test of the drone. Uh, now, the one hiccup that I did encounter uh, was the fact that I couldn't get active track to work just by piloting the drone uh, with my phone. I 
I could only get it to follow me uh, when I actually had it in RC mode and had the remote control hooked up to my phone. I'm not sure if that is my error or if that is a software error on the part of DJI. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play around with that a little bit more uh, because now the, uh, the next thing that I would have to do is find a way to, to cinch my RC controller uh, somewhere here so that I can kind of monitor uh, monitor what the drone's doing while I'm asking it to fly itself. So that's the next step.